All right, women, listen up out there. On average, women get paid 80 cents on the dollar for doing the exact same job as men. And now, more than ever, with these tough economic times, women need to know how to get a good job as well as how to climb the ladder of success once you have one. Marshawn Evans was a contestant on season four of The Apprentice and is the author of Skirts in the Boardroom, and she joins me now. Marshawn, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Good morning. So let's help all the women out there who are looking yes. for a job. You have four points that women should start doing immediately right now. Number one, know who you are, brand yourself. How do you do that? Well, absolutely. I think it's important to know what your brand is. And a lot of women don't understand that they have a brand, regardless of whether they realize it or not. Meaning your specialty? Well, it's more about, your brand is a product of four things. It's your reputation, it's your image, it's your level of intellect, and your consistency. And so all of those things are critical, and the way in which you deliver on each of those will determine whether you're dispensable or not in the workplace. All right, the next thing that you say that women should do, I think, in the workplace and when they're looking mm -hmm. for a job, you say succinct communication. Yes. Is this a nice way of saying that women talk too much? Um, you know, I actually don't think we talk too much, but we could focus our communication. And men tend to focus more on results in their business communication. Women tend to focus more on relationships. And so when you're crisp, clear, and to the point, it makes what you need to say get across more easily and people take you more seriously. Now, it's interesting. Before we get to the third bullet point, you say that relationships, the fact that women focus on relationships, yes. could actually protect us in these tough economic times. Why? Absolutely. Because when people are in an a economic economic crunch like we are right now, relationships sometimes are the things that will keep you in the door. If you maintain good relationships within your workplace, or if you're an entrepreneur like me, maintaining good relationships with your clients can be the difference when they're trying to trim the fat, so to speak, and keep a lean team around them. You want to be the one who's kept. That's great. So, so keep an eye on those. Uh, me, third bullet point, network yes. outside of the box. Yes, absolutely important. Well, if we want something that you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. And so a lot of times we tend to network and, and meet with people that look like us, that are, act like us, that are in our same career fields. And, you know, I, I started working in the field of sports and entertainment by going to a different event that I had never been to before. And so when you network outside of the box, you meet new people, and also being online is critical. You know, we live in a Web 2.0 world, and you have to do things where you're networking with people online. Well. I have got to start to use the computer. Uh, next, number four, <laughs> walk with assertive confidence. How does how you walk help you keep your job? Well, when I say walk with assertive confidence, it's not necessarily um, just how you walk in terms of the catwalk, but it's more a matter of your level of charisma. That we, with which you carry yourself. And one of the things that I learned from Donald Trump on The Apprentice was the importance of charisma and having a dynamic energy, and that's magnetic. People are attracted to that. If you walk in, you don't look somebody in the eye, and you don't give a firm handshake, then you almost are guaranteed not to be around for very long. So you have to be assertive. You have to be very confident. And you think that there's a physicality of that. You have to sort of present yourself that way. Absolutely. Well, most of communication is visual. You know, what we say, even, even the things that you say every morning, Allison, won't be retained by the listeners, more so than the demeanor with which you present. Now, you come across very polished and, and, and presentable, so that makes a difference on how your message is actually received. And a lot of times we don't realize that our image leads before our communication does. Well, thank you. That's very nice coming from you, Marshawn. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. The book, again, is called Skirts in the Boardroom, yes. A Woman's Survival Guide to Success in Business and Life. Thanks for coming thank in. Thank you, Allison.